In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, let us pray. Heavenly Father, your glory is in your saints. We praise your glory in the life of the admirable St. Catherine of Siena, Virgin and Doctor of the Church. Her whole life was a noble sacrifice inspired by an ardent love of Jesus, your unblemished Lamb. In troubled times, she strenuously upheld the rights of his beloved spouse, the Church. Father, honor her merits and hear her prayers for each of us. Help us to pass unscathed through the corruption of this world. Help us always to see in the Vicar of Christ an anchor in the storms of life and a beacon of light to the harbor of your love. In this dark night of your times and men's souls, grant also to each of us our special petition. We ask this through Jesus, your Son, in the bond of the Holy Spirit. When the Son of Man comes in his glory and all the angels with him, then he will sit on the throne of his glory. All the nations will gather before him and he will separate people one from another as a shepherd separates the sheep from the goats. And he will put the sheep at his right hand and the goats at the left. Then the king will say to those at his right hand, Come, you are blessed by my Father. Inherit the kingdom prepared for you from the foundation of the world. For I was hungry, and you gave me food. I was thirsty, and you gave me something to drink. I was a stranger, and you welcomed me. I was naked, and you gave me clothing. I was sick, and you took care of me. I was in prison and you visited me. Then the righteous will answer him, Lord, when was it that we saw you hungry and gave you food or thirsty and gave you something to drink? And when was it that we saw you a stranger and welcomed you or naked and gave you clothing? And when was it that we saw you sick or in prison and visited you? And the king will answer them, Truly, I tell you, just as you did it to one of the least of these brothers and sisters of mine, you did it to me. Dear brother, let the fire of your love for God and your neighbor be so bright and intense that it may truly be said that the poor of your soul are consumed by this divine fire. Serve the poor for the love of Christ and be to them a loving and compassionate mother. Embrace them in the bosom of your charity, for on the day of judgment, Christ will recognize his poor in you and will say to you, Come, blessed of my Father, inherit the kingdom prepared for you from the foundation of the world. My dear brother, strive with all your heart to imitate the compassion of our Lord Jesus Christ, who became poor for our sake. When you see the poor and the needy, let your heart be moved with pity and tenderness and give them not only material help, but also the gift of your presence and your loving care. By doing so, you will become a true disciple of Christ and a living witness of his love in the world. Beloved Stefano, do not forget that true happiness lies in loving and serving God and your fellow human beings. 
Open your heart to the needs of the poor and the afflicted, for in them you will find the face of Christ. Let your life be a reflection of His mercy and compassion. Give generously of your time, talents, and resources to alleviate their suffering and bring them hope. In serving the poor, you will find true joy and fulfillment. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.